Hey YouTube, what's going on? Check me here. Going to do another uh, Air vs. Popo drill. Uh, pretty solid what I use. Uh, pretty impressed by him. Um, just actually learning from him too. So I don't know. They're just good matches. And uh, after the weird Diago match, I figured we just might as well go back to you know just two solid what I use because I guess I really don't think that was him. It was just really weird shit from him. But anyways, here we go. All right. Oh, good little forward there. Okay, what you're gonna see there in the beginning, anytime a fierce is missed, like that, you see how he missed that uh, high fierce or high roundhouse. Anytime, anytime you see a Ryu do that, it's a free uh, crouching roundhouse every time. Anytime he misses a crouching roundhouse or a standing roundhouse or a crouching fierce or a standing fierce, it's a free crouching roundhouse. Just to let you guys know, which he takes advantage of there. Again, really no use of the uh, the uh, safe jump. Ooh, that was cute. Let's look at that again. Okay, so this is what he did. He did crouching medium light to another crouching medium to uh, crouching roundhouse. I'm not sure. It, it would actually probably do a little less light because of damage scaling. Because he did it, it with the extra jab, it um, it makes it so the, the damage is less. But it might be easier to combo. I'm not really sure. I've never tried that before, but interesting stuff. Um, yeah, like I said, it might be com it might be easier to combo because there might be more frames. It might be two and three frames instead of one frame. So I'm pretty sure that's a one frame link. Just the medium, medium, the fierce. But here we go. Good stuff from him. Okay, but you saw the blue ride you do right there is get back to neutral. He was going to the corner. He's like, you know what? I don't want to be in the corner. Uh, let's try to get back to neutral. Let's try to get something going in my favor. So let's, you know, try to get back in the middle. Let me see if I can put him to the corner. I said really high level stuff here. You usually don't see Ryu try to spin kick, myself included, until they're actually in the corner. But... Being very perceptive and very aware of where he was, he decided to do it earlier. So, good stuff. Okay, what you just saw there was counter fireball. This is, I actually use this a lot. It's actually really, really good. I mean, I fall off for it too sometimes, even though I use it so much. You're going to see the white Ryu throw two fireballs. And then after he throws that, he's going to be hoping... Because it happens to me too, after you see a Ryu throw fireball after fireball, you want to throw one too so you can stop blocking and stop getting chipped. But knowing that you want to throw one, he's going to take advantage of that and then jump and get a free punish. But it doesn't work for the blue, the blue Ryu more than ready for it. Backs up and just good stuff from him really feeling that out. Ooh, good footsies there. Good mix up. Oh, misses jab, jab, jab sweep there. Not a big deal though, still pretty big likely. But you still want to get those combos if possible. Wow, the blue Ryu just really reading really, really well right now. Mm. Wow. Is that serious? I've never seen that. I've never seen that before. What just happened is they did two crouching mediums each time at the perfect timing and hit each other both times. That's how these right use are phenomenal. I mean, that's just beautiful. You might never see that at something like this again. That is perfect timing. I mean, that's just hats off. If I saw if I saw nothing else about this video other than that, I would have known that these two right use are very, very good because that's. Strict, very strict timing, and they both did it at the precise time. Because if one of them were a little later than the other, then that Ryu would have won. So that's just beautiful stuff by them. Pretty dangerous fireball game here for the white Ryu. I mean, he has a Mets. He has a big Mets. Oh, good jab, 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 sweep. Again, no use of the safe jump option. Oh, good X fireball there, anticipating the uh, focus. And another beautiful way to use standing roundhouse. Because if you would have dragon punched here, Oh, I'll show you. If he would have dragon punched at this distance, he just would have went straight up, and he would have lost. But instead, he uses crouching round or standing roundhouse, and it hits him perfectly. Really good stuff. Really use. Really good use of the fundamentals and understanding him. There's match two. Pretty risky jump, but it put it off. That was weird. I think right there, what you just saw. See, look, there he was the counter fireball. The white is the white right. is really hoping to, throw, to see a fireball thrown right here, and it just doesn't work. But he doesn't get it for grab. This is weird. I've never seen this. You see the backup for acting like he's gonna do a safe jump crossover, but instead he does it early. You're gonna see the medium kick come out, and then he's gonna try to do a mix up. Really creative stuff here. I've never seen that done. See right here. I mean, he it's obvious he does it way early, like looking at him. But maybe if you were playing, you would be like, oh, here comes a cross up. 
and um, he knows he's doing it early, so he's ready to land here and get a mix up in. Let's see if it works. I don't. I didn't see if it works. And the white Ryu is just more, or the blue, I'm sorry, the blue Ryu is more than ready for it. He didn't go low low, which is very interesting because if he was, even if he was blocking standing, it would have worked. Like he would have stopped the uh, the attack. But if you're gonna do something like that, if you're gonna try to mix up from um, from the standard, start with a crouching short because if he's blocking high, you're gonna be able to get a good punish. The, the crouch medium wouldn't work because it blocks high and low. So, all right, here we go. Anyways, really interesting stuff. Ooh. That's why Ryu is really burning bar. Don't really agree with that. Ooh. Missed, missed jab, jab, jab sweep there, but. Uh, Blue Ryu burning some bar too. Okay, what you're going to see. Some of you might be able to wonder why he's able to focus through fireballs like that. It's because the, the low forward isn't deep enough. If you low forward into it, like they have to block it. But if it's, if it's kind of like two or three feet away when you low forward in fireball, you can focus. It and then come in, you might be able to get a free punish. Me personally, if it's not deep enough, just throw the low forward. I don't think throwing the fireball is worth it because even if, let's say, like in this case, you know how he is throwing it, he's focusing it, which builds up his ultra meter and he's getting a free block stream because you threw the fireball. But if you just low medium, you're just gonna see, you're just gonna see him charge up and he's either gonna go backwards or forwards. So he doesn't get anything from it. And also, if you see a lot of right use doing this, you can low forward in the spin kick. And then, then you get the uh, then he takes the full damage because the spin kick is armor break obviously. So if you see a lot of Ryu's that do this, the uh, the focus attack out of fireballs, start doing crouching uh, cr low yeah crouching forward into roundhouse, and they're gonna stop doing it. Uh, it is a good strategy to put up, to apply pressure, but it's not that safe. That's why I really don't implement it that much. So yeah, here we go. Like you see how far, like this is about the distance. Like see how the toe is barely hitting him. It's like it should be like his like when it's not safe. It's almost like his knee. The better part of his knee is getting in there. Then he wouldn't be able to focus it. But here we go. See what I mean? He now he's now his ultra is all the way up. And if you look at White Ryu's ultra, it's not even close. I don't know if I can get the YouTube bar out. But anyways, when it goes away. But yeah, he already has almost half a full bar, and Ryu has nothing. And I mean, of course, there's a little bit of a life difference, but not that much for an ultra. Good focus attack pressure. Good block screen right there. Really nice. Uh, good tech. Good DP. Yeah, I was waiting for that. Oof. Really high level stuff here. Just beautiful footsies from both players. Trying to get in there. That was actually Blue Ryu's game if you would have focus attack. Oof. Good back dash from White. Let's see what he does. Oh no. Wow. Okay, in case you guys missed it, what you're going to see, I have 8 minutes, okay, so what you're going to see right here is you're going to see the uh, crossover Tatsu, most Ryu's after they do that will try to grab, maybe he, thinking that he knows that, he went for the DP, but it was blocked, and then the blue Ryu went for the DP also, and that was also blocked, and they both cancelled it, obviously, so, watch, if you watch right now. Yeah, just really high level stuff, and then he tried to take advantage of it, and the blue Ryu knew to block. Oh, good crossover Tatsu. Oof. Yeah. There's nothing you can do to get out of that. I'm at 840, so I'm going to have to speed through this one real quick and just let it go. I'll try to talk and not stop as much as possible. Yeah, I got enough time. Good fireball game. Just establishing the game, trying to make the Ryu jump. Oof. Not a safe Tatsu. Good overhead there. Sandy medium is also not a really nice thing because of the priority it has. Good low forward in the fireball. Ooh, just really risky with these jumping. He's trying, he's really hoping for the counter fireball. Oh, nice combos though. Burning bar. Oof, taking it to him. Wow, beautiful take to Ex Tatsu. Why Ryu was just a complete domination of that match. It's really good stuff from him. All right, guys, that's match four.